When you're working with CSS, it's essential to follow the dry principle. Lucky for us, recipes in Panda make dry CSS a reality. These recipes allow us to define styles once and we use them effortlessly throughout our project. If you need to make a style change or update, you only have to do it in one central place and all the components using that recipe will automatically reflect these changes. A recipe consists of four properties, the base styles, variants, compound variants, and default variants. Imagine you're creating a recipe for a button component. Start with the base styles, which define the fundamental look of the button. And then you add variants like visual and size. These variants allow you to choose different visual styles, such as solid or outline, and different sizes, such as small or large. But what if you want to create more advanced styles? That's where compound variants come in. Let's say you want a button with a small size, a primary color, and a special border. With compound variants, you can define the conditions that combine these styles together, creating a unique button that fits your specific needs. You can also set default values for your variants, ensuring that your button always has a particular style right out of the box.